If you were to ask someone who designed the SS and many other uniforms of the Third Reich, most people would either reply with, I don't know, or Hugo Boss. However, Hugo Boss never designed these infamous uniforms. Instead, it was a man known by surprisingly few people. In this video, you will find out about the life of Karl Diebrich, as well as the numerous other pieces of work he designed. Karl Diebrich was born on the 3rd of January 1899 in Hanover, Germany. Growing up, he had a great interest in art, with him attending an art school and completing an apprenticeship as a decorating painter. However, in 1915, he enlisted in the Imperial German Navy, where he was awarded the Iron Cross Second Class while assigned to an artillery battery. After the armistice of the 11th of November 1918, the First World War came to a close, and Karl Diebrich ended up finding short-term employment as a merchant. But Diebrich would soon decide to pursue his passion for art, as he would in October 1919 join a design school of the Academy of Plastic and Graphic Arts in Munich. While Diebrich was studying in Munich, he quickly became aware of the newly formed NSDAP, National Socialist German Workers' Party, as this was the party's birthplace and initial stronghold. In May 1920, Karl Diebrich joined the NSDAP as the 1,436th member. After this, he joined the Freikorps from 1920 to 23, while still doing his art training, which he ended up completing in 1925. For the next few years, he continued to live in Munich as a painter and graphic designer. However, in 1932, Karl Diebich would go on to design the infamous Black SS uniform with the help of graphic designer Walter Heck, who would later go on to design the infamous Sigrun emblem of the SS in 1933. After designing the uniform, he joined the SS in 1933, and then in 1937, he rejoined the NSDAP after leaving the party at some point after 1920. Karl Diebrich would go on to design a number of other pieces, such as many of the German postage stamps of the Third Reich era, but most notably, other SS-associated items, such as the SS dagger and sword. However, he is probably known by most as the director of the SS porcelain manufacturer Alak from 1936, until the production process moved to Dachau concentration camp under the control of the SS. His work, Mutter, or Mother, resulted in him receiving a top prize at the House of German Art Exhibition in Munich in 1938, as well as Adolf Hitler giving him the honorary title of professor. Karl Diebrich was also a reserve officer in the Waffen SS, where during the Second World War he was assigned to the SS Totenkampfstandarte, SS Regiment Germania, and to the SS Division Viking. He was promoted to the SS Oberführer in 1944, which is a similar equivalent to a high-level colonel, and continued at this rank until the German surrender in May 1945. After the war, Diebich would continue to produce art until his death on the 6th of August 1985 in Kreut, Germany at the age of 86. Before the end of the video, I would like to clear up the actual involvement of Hugo Boss in a relation to the uniforms of the Third Reich. Hugo Boss was not the designer of any items used by the Third Reich. Instead, the Hugo Boss Company was a licensed manufacturer, producer of multiple uniforms of the Third Reich, including for the SS, SA, Wehrmacht and Hitler Youth. The founder, Hugo Ferdinand Boss, was actually a member of the NSDAP since 1931 and ended up meeting Hitler in 1945 at the Berghof. The company is also known to have used forced labourers during the Second World War. Thanks for watching the video, if you did enjoy it feel free to have a look at the other videos on my channel and leave any comments you may have down below and I'll try to answer them all. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.